Durban stands at a cultural crossroads where its ancient past meets its future. The most modern spatial development master planning technique for the Russian Federation's most ancient city. Durban is a true germ of Dagestan. Founded several thousand years ago, it is Russia's oldest settlement as well as its southernmost city. It is the place where the East meets the West, the mountains meet the sea, and traditions meet the innovations. Why is Durban so important? It may have many limitations, but it also offers many opportunities. Durban lies at a strategic point along the legendary Caspian route, which used to link Eastern Europe and Western Asia in ancient times. The city is truly amazing. It has mountains, sea architecture, this medieval feeling, and a fortress, a time machine essentially. It possesses a wealth of tourism potential and incredible development opportunities. So I knew about Durban, uh, I read about it, um, so I'm, I sort of expected what I saw, uh, uh, and of course there's even more challenges as soon as you start to scrap the surface uh, with the sort of usual problems of a city. Um, there are some specific issues, specific problems, and of course this is where you're on site, you, that's where you discover them, uh, and it's even more exciting of course to be there. The decision to host the open international competition for the development of a master plan for the Durban Urban District was motivated by a wish to make the city more modern and comfortable to live in, while also preserving its value as an ancient heritage site. This was a momentous occasion for the whole Russian Federation. The competition was spearheaded by the I Love Durban Charity Fund, with the support of the government of the Republic of Dagestan and the administration of Durban Urban District. The Agency for Strategic Development Center, an analytical and consulting organization well known in the field of development as well as town and urban planning, was invited to organize the project. Center's experts conducted a study that would later define the competition objective. Today, UNESCO advocates a holistic approach to the development of the city, and therefore we've chosen a viable scenario that will contribute to balanced development of the city, providing convenient living conditions for the local population, comfortable and sustainable growth of the tourism sector, and the city's functioning within the confines of the polycentric development scenario. This international competition has revealed an entirely new approach to master planning. What is a master plan? Our competition has helped answer this question, putting forth its very own hypothesis. Durban has a lot of cultural and historical diversity, and from this point of view, it is very important for us to have a master plan for Durban, so that in the future we could apply this experience in other cities of the Republic of Dagestan. We have good managers, we have resources, which is very important. And today we can solve difficult matters as pilot programs. We want all the residents and guests of the Republic to come and see the city. The competition was officially launched in the summer of 2019 on the premises of TASS, Russia's leading information agency. Applications were sent from all over the world, including such countries as Italy, Turkey, Great Britain and France. We saw strong interest from participants during the first stage. The geography is very broad. What stood out for us was that people would create consortiums and international companies with companies from Russia, inspired by the common goal to work on the most historical, interesting and ancient city. The judging panel, chaired by Vladimir Vasilyev, head of the Republic of Dagestan, reviewed all the applications and singled out three teams that went on to compete in the finals. I think that the city's rich historical roots serve as a very powerful magnet for people who come here and for people who live here. They are proud of these roots. Durban is a patient that requires surgical accuracy.
It is a unique place with a potential to attract tourists not only from Russia but from all over the world. After a lot of painstaking work, the finalists presented diverse and unique scenarios for Durban's further development. We tried to get a good look at the problems faced by the locals, and our project is an attempt to find a solution to these problems. It's not to say that we will bring solutions from outside, never. The solutions are here in Durban. The project by Nova Zimnas Consortium employs human-centered principle. People, particularly children, are at the heart of our plan. The project's key principle is to turn Durban into a compact city following human-centered approach. Our suggestions are all about people, about improving their future. A balanced development of the regional centers of social and commercial infrastructure will provide residents with everything they need within walking distance and reduce the load on the transport network. The project, which was selected as a winner, really marks the next step in this discussion, demonstrating a unique solution for small historical Russian cities. Durban is again to become a green city. The green belt on the outskirts, created with the help of the local community, will limit uncontrolled development and improve the environment. Today, I think Durban has an opportunity to start a new life. A life as a social and cultural heritage site, an outstanding example of ancient architecture and a recreational facility, but also as an important city of the Caspian and North Caucasus region. Durban will also get a pedestrian zone, the so-called Tourist Mile, that will link the ancient fortress and the new embankment. We fell in love with this historical heritage and its nature. The team is confident that this plan will bring in tourists from all over the world and help preserve old Durban's historical identity. The embankment is to be transformed into the city's main community space. At the heart of it all will lie a multifunctional waterborne space that will serve as the combination of the route from Narin Khala Fortress to the sea. It is where the old and the new Durban will meet. The winning project was already shown to the public at the second International Urban Forum Designing the Future, which took place in Mahachkala. The forum's insights included the idea of establishing a project office in Durban. Isa Magomedov, chief architect of Durban, says that a group of professional experts will work together with the local authorities and the winning concerts him to make the city's master plan a reality, motivated by one shared goal. Making this activity public, making it accessible and truly educational. The Consortium's project picked the interest of the judges, the public council and everyone who cares about the future of Durban and all of Dagestan. This proves that there is a consolidated position, a shared opinion among professionals, both local and foreign, as well as among the people who are going to live in the city, to raise their children here, to start a family, and thus to see a link between their future and the vision of Nova Zimla.